Hello assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm gonna make a video on my Hackintosh and my experience on it. It's been one year I have installed the Mac OS X on this system and I've never used backup or have never ever got any problem. I updated from Mac El Capitan and to Mac OS Serra and I directly updated without giving a refresh or what you can call it any kind of cleaning or stuff i just used the apple store downloaded mac os Sura and i updated it so right now my system build is based on asus z97 pro gamer motherboard and i'm using gtx 970 which got about 4 gigs of ram and i got 18 gigs of system ram and my uh, cpu is intel core i5 4590 which is overclocked to about 3.7 gigahertz so here you can see it's late aluminium model written because the i'm using a mba and a code go from a macbook which i previously had to use my iMessages due to this configuration i use the imac 14 by 2 sm bios and i only use macbooks rom and mba for iMessage configuration if i open my iMessages you can see it's working and it's working completely fine i can give the messages to iMessage and stuff so this is about iMessages if i open my display settings here you can see i'm using two 1200p displays made of dell ultra series i got about two terabyte of storage which i connected in parts in one year i started with about one one 512 gb hard drive and one ssd and then i later on added it in bits i use about 18 gigs of ram in different sizes this is the craziest thing in my system i never ever upgraded it i just brought a new ram and never sold back the slowest one and I never got such time and if i go to overview and system report i go my audio working i go about seven different audio outputs each is a stereo output which means i go about 14 total audio channels and here you can see them in and here is a usb pmp sound device and this is one of the best thing you can do with a hackintosh you must have a usb audio drive uh, even though you're getting system audio out because sometimes you upgrade and the stuff happens and the audio goes and that's weird you just get messed up so i use this i go four outputs from my motherboard and then i go uh, audio out with display port and then I go my USB audio out and here I go a USB input as well and an internal mic from the system's uh, audio device, the built-in one. And if I go back to the system report, in here I got a Bluetooth 4.0 connected with a USB and if you, if you are on macOS Serra, then each of your USB Bluetooth will show that it's handoff compatible. And if it's US, uh, it's Bluetooth 4.0, it will work fine. And then uh, let's go to Ethernet. I go my Ethernet working on my system. And one thing to mention, I bought a TP-Link Archer T9E with the, for the Wi-Fi. And it's one of the fastest Wi-Fi available. I made a video on it as well. And this thing works out of the box. You just plug and play. You just have to install the device into the system and boom, it will work really fine. It supports all the latest features available on Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi A, B, N, G, all the bands and stuff. Right now I'm connected with an N band, you can see. And here you can see it supports all the wireless channels, wake on wireless, airdrop, airdrop channel and stuff, auto unlock, everything is supported and that is literally supported. I use airdrop a lot with the, my other Macs and iPhones and it worked completely fine. Then we go to PCI and I got a graphic I connected but it will be shown in the graphics and display. I got two display connected to my GDX 970 which is an overclock gigabyte edition. And then let's go to USB. I can use about three different ports, one on each display, two on both. Then I use a USB hub as well, ultra fast memory card reader and USB 3. USB 3 works fine with my system configuration and I really like that. Then here it's iMessages working completely fine, Bluetooth working completely fine. 
and here is hardware monitor you can see i got a bunch of different hard drives connected a gpu fan and stuff total storage is about two terabyte and that's almost all about the system configuration there's not much things you can mention with your system the graphics benchmarks are quite good i don't remember if i have any geek bench oh but i remember i got a <clears throat> sign a bench benchmark previously so that was the latest benchmark i did that was of core with my intel core i7 and that was the score with a uh, core i5 and that was score with with the cpu which is 550 and if i open my graphic card the max i go was 98.56 with my gtx 970 which is quite less if i go to if i use my windows to do the same benchmark but that's that's what you get on mac os x the graphic card does not work that much optimized because of the open gl and windows directx 12 is quite light on the, the uh, graphic cards on the other hand i never got any uh, error booting up the system or surprisingly i never had any problem with the, my system in one year it never booted late or it never failed to boot it never give random errors and if i updated to mac os x 20 dot 12 dot 2 remember I, I never get the reinstall the audio drivers nor i get to reinstall the wi-fi or bluetooth drivers and because i use clover uh bootloader so i never got to remap my sm bios as well so that's like working on a real mac and the compatibility is quite high now previous days in the early days when i used to mac hackintosh the st system used to be so unstable you can never get a proper hackintosh working for like one week but now the things have really changed and you can get a hackintosh working for like and it's like working perfectly fine no problem updating no problem booting up never fail to boot up never fail to shut down properly and it works crazy fast as well i use final cut pro on it i use pages on it and the loading speeds are fabulous you can see that like if i click on something quite instantaneous it never went slow that way and the best thing of osx is in it you it, it is storage optimized it's memory optimized it's and it's cpu power optimized and it uses less voltage on osx if i if uh, for example if i go to my energy and the total amount of voltage my system use on mac os x is like 15 to like 16 or 17 percent less if i use mac os x rather than windows and if i play any kind of heavy duty task most of the load went to the cpu rather than gpu and that's the crappiest thing though but that make the system will go on low voltage all the time and that's all with my hackintosh build and that's all with my hackintosh build thanks for watching guys hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it if you have any question query let me know in the comments below subscribe like and share if you have any question feel free to ask and if you want to have a perfect working hackintosh let me know as well i try to reply as fast as possible but due to having exams and university stuff, it's really hard to cope up with everything. And until the very next video, guys, keep smiling, take care, and Allah Hafiz.